In that video you're gonna see some Australian rare Pokemon, you're gonna see some judo time in Australia and the time I have with my mate. So I hope you're gonna enjoy guys. Hi what's up everybody, it's Tudio Vajer. So welcome in a new video, we are in Australia with my beautiful shirt thanks to Xavier that kinda gave me, but not really. Uh, we're going now to Mackay which is a city in Queensland and it's been already a few weeks that I'm here. I'm I'm gonna meet um, Bella there and her family. I'm going to be hosted by the family and I will film the judo story from um, tomorrow. Uh, today I have like 10, 11 hours of train from Innisfil, which is a city near Cairns, to Mackay. And actually I'm not even doing 40% of the region. <laughs> Australia is huge. It's like most of the countries and even more of Europe in just one country so it's just crazy it's beautiful it's really hot it's wild some kind of dangerous so i see you there very soon i think with bella all right see ya don't try to blame it on the season i'm arriving makai 45 minutes late and so now I'm going to meet my new host. I won't film it because I rather like always to just make things more personally, you know. And then probably from tomorrow I'm gonna start to film with people. So yeah, it was a very long uh, train. Fuck, I cannot speak English anymore. Anyway, see you tomorrow. I'm arrived in the dojo. The name is Makai Kodokan Judo Club. And so I'm going to stay here for I think a week and you can see some kids already have some fun that's the daughter of the teacher by the way so today is special training I might come back again next week but actually the class didn't start again since it's holiday in uh, Australia so they just opened the dojo for me to do something like private class and tomorrow we're going to do something i think we're going to the beach or i'm not sure so yeah i'm gonna show you a little bit of judo and then we're going to see tomorrow what we're doing okay and so somebody that speak better than me in english well actually not so good sometimes you're doing some <laughs> mistakes um so my name's bella nolan i started training at makai kodakan in 2016 i think but this club's been here since oh it's the oldest one in queensland since the what was it sorry not seven 19 something <laughs> currently run by sensei wayne palmer who's just got his third done and yeah and my dad as well who just got oh, his yeah. show done um i think we've got about 15 members in the club at the moment yeah 15 yeah yeah okay, i think quite so. small yeah <laughs> one of the smallest but um it used to be quite big when i was younger we had like a nice collection of um girls my age and some of the some of the boys but then they grew up and went off but we share it with the jiu-jitsu club okay Okay, well, yeah. thank you very much, and we'll see for today. We're going to the beach, so the name of this place is? Early Beach. Early Beach. And I'm with Rob, my host, and what's your name again? Ian. Lian? Ian. Ian. Yep. Okay, nice to meet you by the way. <laughs> you too, Julia. It's very beautiful here. One thing interesting to know about Australia, as you can see behind me, there's a pool. But the thing is, like the cities, in pretty much all the big cities I went, they provide free pool like this for the people. So. They just come having fun and refreshing themselves, you know, it's really, really nice. And here is really beautiful, just look at that. So, where will I get information? So, 
I don't know where we're going. Probably have some food later. And we're gonna enjoy the time. So, by the way, tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, but the next day. So when are we going to the raining forest? Ah, uh, Monday. Monday. Yeah. So, yeah, Monday we're gonna visit the raining forest. I've never been in a place like that, so I don't know what it looks like. There is a... Uh, some animal called pussy something. Peter pussy, yeah. Peter pussy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I tell you, it's funny here. Yeah. They, they told me we, we're gonna go to see Peter pussy, so I was like, okay. You're pet a pussy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know if I say that in the last video, but <laughs> fact about Australia, you have 80 percent of the mammals here that are endemic species, so they only live in Australia, which is pretty amazing. Like every time I'm going somewhere. I have my eyes wide open because you always see weird things so <laughs> yeah it's interesting okay so I let you see a little bit and I will be back to you later see ya you got me tiptoeing around you like you made of glass got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass but you're bound to break down bound to lose bound to get knocked right out of your boots Anyway, new place today, uh, new people actually, so now I'm with um, uh, you, <laughs> Logan, <laughs> Logan. yeah I forgot your, your name, right. sorry, uh, and so yeah we're going to Jungila, 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 yeah. Yeah. Jungila forest, rain, rain forest, yep, and so we're going to see some you could platypus? Hopefully, hopefully. I'm gonna have the drone and yeah, it's a really nice place. They told me that there's huge spiders and stuff, so it's not that <laughs> nice actually. <laughs> leeches, yeah. Leeches. That's the important part. Leeches, leeches, leeches. I think in French it's uh, sans Leeches, like the one that sucks your blood, right? Yeah, that's them. Lovely. Yeah, usually you can see everything all the way for like hundreds of kilometers but today it's a bit different uh, i can edit pretend you know i i put some photoshop yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know we're trying to find platypus i don't know what are our chances of seeing one uh, i'll say decent uh, decent yeah it's about 50 50 when you come here i think okay it's, yeah, it's very nice area If we cannot see bloody bus, I will find some footage on the internet of this place with some, so you can see. It's been raining a lot lastly, and so the water is not that clear, but normally it's much more than that. So at that point I was starting to losing hope of seeing a platypus so what I was doing is that I was trying to film some other things, different contexts for the video like the leeches and some of the weird thing in the forest talking uh, with the people I was with as you can see but then things happened. Do you enjoy walking barefoot on the rocks? I'm having a great time. <laughs> okay, Bella, why Australian walk barefoot? Look, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know. I think it's just that we're too lazy to put shoes on. <laughs> so you're just saying that Australian are lazy people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, so that's on you, right? No, Not on me. Nah, but <laughs> we do have tougher feet than the average person. So. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. I go and barefoot because I like having tough feet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's making it better. Exactly. And you're wearing it here because of the leaky. And also, wearing shoes restricts your feet. Like, it's actually bad for you. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can have disease. Like, yeah. the bones going that way. That's true. It's just a little better. Oh, yeah. 
Watch out for leeches, by the way. Watch out for leeches? Like, four worms, I think. Four worms. No, leeches. Like, they look like worms, they bite you. Yeah, they stick to your skin. Yeah. That's an interesting pickup line, Logan. Uh, to see platypus, platypus, pus something, but uh, yeah, was thought we would and so yeah, this is the last place I'm going to conclude this video on filming here a little bit with the drone because it's very beautiful and yeah, if you want to be part of the project, remember that I'm going to all the 197 countries to teach judo for free and obviously like here, discovering about the culture, you can spot the project from one dollar a month and I would be forever thankful if you do that. So, see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye -bye.